So now we're doing a video to show you something's going on. This bee ate some of us pollen out of this flower. And it's walking around like it's drunk or disoriented. And it's not flying. Usually when these bees have this problem, they don't fly. This bee doesn't have any pollen on it. But it can't seem to find its way. And my guess is it'll do the same thing I've seen happen before, where it'll just die. There's another flower a little further over here, and I'll show you the same thing's happening on this, with this one, right here. This bee here is pretty well not moving at all anymore. See? They eat, they eat from these flowers, but if you look at the flowers, they don't look very healthy. See that discoloration? Same thing you were seeing in all the leaves that I was showing you. So we'll come back to that one. I'm going to go back to this other bee because it's still moving. And most likely this video is going to catch it dying. It's not very pleasant, but I want you to see what's happening here. Like this bee is having problem walking, it can't fly. You know, it, it ate some of this flower. But if you look at the center of the flower, and we'll go up close, I'll show you. See how they, how they look? See the discoloration and, and the funny edges on these on this stuff? It's the same thing as on the leaves. See, look at the look at this bee. Like it's really struggling to walk. So I'll do this video for a little while because it's going to be interesting. It's not the bee's not eating any pollen. It's like it doesn't it seems like it doesn't know what to do, where it's going, it's not walking very healthy. And since I'm zoomed right in, you can see that it's fumbling and it's tripping. So the other bee that I showed you a second ago on the other flower, it's dead, it's not moving. This is the third video I'm doing. And this one here is really good because it's nice and clear. We get to watch this bee walk around and realize something's not right here. It's like it's lost. Like bees don't act like this. This is not natural. It's not lost. It doesn't want any pollen. It already had some or tried to eat some of that flower. So I think it's actually doing pretty good because the other bees that I've seen when they do this, they start moving really slow. They just stop moving and just die. Other people have noticed there's something wrong too, but right now I'm going to keep talking. Hopefully, you know, this video won't run more than 10 minutes. It's almost three minutes now. So you keep watching this and you tell me if this is normal behavior for a, for a bee. See it's fumbling and almost falling off. And the reason why it's going through this is it can't fly. Something it ate is messing up its nervous system. And it's like I said, the chemtrails in the sky or the radiation from Fukushima. Because last year I never saw anything like this. We've had chemtrails for a while, but we've never had radiation coming down from the sky. You can see what I mean now. You keep watching, you can see this bee keeps falling over. It's it's like lost, it's fumbling. But like I said before, usually when a bee gets into trouble, when it lands on a flower, it doesn't last this long. I mean, you know, a human being can figure out this. It's not able to push with his legs properly. Well, I'm going to go back and show you the other one now. It was moving when I first pulled up here. I could see it, it, its tentacles were moving. As you can see, that bee is no longer moving. It's like dead. If it wasn't dead, you'd see some kind of life in it. You'd see it moving, but there's nothing moving. And the other bee, it's probably still... I'm, I'm going to zoom back to the other bee when I can see it with my eyes. I don't know what happened to the other bee. It might have fallen off the flower. Okay. It's dead. Explain that to me. Go ahead, tell me. Why are the bees dying when they land on these flowers? 
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down this plant next to it and show you something. And you see you see all this stuff on the leaves right here? That's not fall colors, folks. There's something falling from the rain that does this to the plants. And this is what these, these bees are eating, is whatever's on these plants, it's eating it. That's the future of the world, contaminated soil. And the radiation just started falling like last year from, from uh, Fukushima. And every year that goes by now, the radiation levels in the water in the earth is gonna keep going higher and higher, meaning that the radiation is gonna get deeper and deeper into the soil. I noticed this year that small trees, when they first sprouted their leaves in the spring, in spring, they died. And the bigger trees are having problems, they're all discolored. But next year, we're gonna have a lot more dead trees than we have now. I'm gonna move around and see if I can spot this, this bee wherever it went, because I can't sit here staring at a flower. It went underneath the flower, and I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Bees, uh, when they die on flowers, they can die underneath the flower. They can die anywhere because their, their, their little feet have hooks on them. And they... Um, I'm just trying to find where I'm at here. There it is. So when they die, their feet stay hooked. So there's that bee that we were looking at that's in trouble. I'm going to back up a bit more so I can get it clearer. It's just the way cameras work. And the people who uh, look at these flowers, they don't realize that something's wrong with all what's happening to the bees. There we go. So we can see pretty clearly this bee here, and it's not moving anymore. It's like I said, when the bees land on the on the flowers, they uh, they they start moving really slow, and then they just die. And that bee is underneath that flower, and it's dead. So I'm going to turn off the video. This is a pretty good one. It showed you how, how this bee landed, started eating, and then it died.